Hello well, guys, it is Saturday, 10.30, and there's an echo in here. Just want to give you a shot before I get this place cleaned. We got her emptied out. Got my fuel. Got to run on Pepsi today. Uh, that's the only thing I can't get out, but I am going to blow it off and cover it with plastic. Uh, might try to get that whole corner covered if I can because all the wires and stuff but uh, feels good to have my garage back for a few seconds um, I just swept the floor and got the heavy residue off and get ready to come in here and blow everything down start washing the walls and whatnot I'll give you a shot of what my yard looks like What a mess. But the uh, car looks good. It's all sanded out to 500, and I'm very happy with how it looks. Uh, hopefully, you can see this. I haven't blown it off yet or washed it, but I'm going to do that all out here. Take all that paper off and give it a good wipe down and everything. So, before I take it back in. So, she looks good. There was a. Uh, did a little bit of glazing, not much. I don't know if you can see it, it's very small, down on the edge of this bumper. Uh, I think it's a, oh, there's one spot on the hood. I can't even see it now, it's so small, but this is it. This is D-Day. And hopefully it turns out good. Oh, it's gonna. There's the Cavalier, guys, right there. A little piece of crap's gonna get painted today. <laughs> Didn't get a whole day's beer last night, but I saw this video. It's pretty cool, man. Thanks for the good words. And thanks all you guys for having faith in me. Um, oh, I think I'll get it. I just, I don't want a lot of orange peel because I don't want to sand deep. Uh, like I said, I've never ever cut and buff. This is going to be my first time. I kind of want to do it uh, like Milo does it there. Cut it open with 1,000 and then hit it with 2,000 and buff it. I don't want to have to sand and sand and sand and end up breaking through an edge on that car because there is a lot of edges on that car. And that's probably not a good one to start my first cut buff job with. Anyways, uh, this might be a long video. I'll keep jumping in here throughout the day, just briefly, and uh, start give, uh, give you shots uh, uh, of the coats, in between the coats or whatever. Uh, I, am, I do have the butterflies. Actually, they're more like seagulls, but uh, makes me run a little faster anyway. So, anyways, guys. I'll be back throughout the day, so I'll give you another shot once I get this place cleaned up, see if it makes a difference. I gotta try to imitate a paint booth as best I can, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna put plastic on all that, uh, seal that up, so hopefully that'll stop the dust from there, because this place is dusty. Uh, I'll just give you a little indication. Uh, that's what I'm up against. Just like that. That's, that's everything's like that. So I'm getting rid of everything I possibly can out of here. And I'm going to tape all these doors up and everything because inside those cabinets is like, wow. So I'll be back throughout the day. See if we can throw a pretty good video here. It might be quite long, but I'll do my best. And like I said, thanks everybody for wishing me luck. Uh, I need it. But I think it'll turn out good. If I get the conditions all right, I shouldn't have no trouble. So, and uh, we'll we'll be back. Well, guys, you got her back in. The garage has been totally washed down and blew down and vacuumed. I still got to vacuum the floor again because I brought some dirt in when I brought the car in. Just wanted to give you a shot there before I remask it. Took all the old paper back off. Stuff around door handles, I gotta get that yet, but that nothing. 
Anyway, just want to give you a quick shot. Uh, got to figure out what to do with them parts. I got this wooden sawhorse here, piece of two by three, and I'm going to try to make something. I'll give you a shot here later once I get her back. And it is 20 to two times just a ticking by, so we'll be back. All right, guys, just thought I'd throw in a little update here. It's 4.30, and she's, I got the outline mast. Just getting ready for the paper. Just took a long while to get this figured out, especially those little pieces. Just ended up taping them on there, and put a little screw on the end of those, and these will hang right there. Uh, I can get them all the way around. So she's coming. It's gonna be a long night. Uh, got these situated there to be painted. And still got a ways to go. Yeah, still gotta go do something with that. Gotta cover that because that's where all my material is gonna go. And it's quite warm in here, it's 25 degrees, so I'm keeping the temperature up because it's going to be later tonight before I get at this, so it's um, getting close. I'm not stressed now, I'm too tired to be stressed, just want to get her done. So the whole car needs washed and wiped, and I'll finish the tape in there. And or the masking and then I'll come back give you a shot so I'll be back well guys it is now five after seven and all I got left to do is put my filter in the car has been all blowed off uh, it needs washed down I got my parts laid out the best way I can get them in here and still have room I got my paper down there for my spray pattern, get it going. Still got to wash my hose down. Got that covered, the rest washed down. Got my material all set here, ready to go. That's taped up. That's still a mess. Uh, that's everything's been cleaned in there. So I'm really cramped for space. Uh, the next time I turn the camera on, there will be a coat of base on this. It will be, well it already is white, but it should be a nicer white I would say. Uh, Got to wet the floor down. It's, uh, it's going to be a long night. Hopefully everything goes good. Still got to bring that gun out, get it all set up play around with that a little bit ended up putting this molding back on because I couldn't hang it anywhere and the way it's set up I can, it's it'll get the paint so but these here that's what I had to do with them there's a screwed on there taped on there and everything so and I'm gonna move this over that way some just as soon as I get started it's very warm in here I was going to wait until tomorrow, but it's supposed to snow, and it's not snowing out right now. Uh, it is 26 degrees in here, which is double that, and 32, I believe. So that would be 52, 84. But it will cool down quick when I turn that fan on, and it's five degrees outside, so. That's where I'm at. We tried to put plastic up there, it just wouldn't cooperate. Uh, the door there and everything. So that's all been blown down really good. So hopefully that's on the fan end of the garage and it should be good. So uh, I got lots of cigarettes rolled for in between coats. So it should be all right there. Got the stool out here, which I'm going to take outside and blow off. So I see some dust on it. Uh, been a long day but she's close so like I said the next time I turn this camera on 
there will be a coat of base on. Probably, oh, I'm going to say an hour and a half from now, 8.30, I'm going to say. Uh, they'll look into that. I'll show you the clock when, we, when I get there. So, Anyway, she's all masked back up, nice new clean paper. She just got to be waxed and greased off, and she's ready to, ready to rock and roll. So, I'll be back. All right, guys, ten, five after ten, and I got the first coat of base on. Uh, took me, I don't know, half an hour to go around this car, I think. Everything's white now. It is hard to see. Shadows. I don't know if this is going on good or bad, to be honest with you. So, I'm just going to mix up some more paint, let this flash for another couple minutes, and give it to her again. And I won't be back until I get two coats of the pearl on and see if it looks any different. So, I guess it looks okay. So, I don't know, it's hard to tell because there's so many shadows. I should try the sunglasses. I got sunglasses here in my pocket. Let's try it. Oops, man, wrong glasses. And there. It is really hard to see. You know, that might make a difference. I never painted with sunglasses on before, but I might give her a try. Paint my sunglasses on. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give her a try. See how it looks, because you really can't see, or I can't see nothing. But you just barely see where I started and left off. So I'll be back once I get some pearl on. I'm gonna give this a try. Uh, it's gonna be a long night, it's starting to get silly, so we'll see you after one more coat of base and two coats of Pearl. My water dried up. It's warm in here. So I'll be back. Hello guys. Sunday at 1.30. Um, I put up a little bit of the paint job there last night. I think uh, at the end of those videos stopped when I had the first coat of base on. And I didn't get a chance to video anymore after that. Um, I was out here until quarter after three, I think it was, um, I had me a train wreck, a real bad one. Uh, this is what an inexperience does for you. Uh, right where I left off in the video there, I had that first coat of base on. Well. I, put, I sprayed it like I would, I'm more used to the, the only other product I've sprayed is Limco, the base. And I just come out and I put it on, I don't worry about the base, it just goes on good, lays down. Well, just didn't. Uh, it looked a little funky when I shut the camera off there. And then I went in the house, said, it says in the specs to the flash time. You can find it here. Uh, 15 to 30 minutes. Well, I left it about 30 minutes. It was, uh, first of all, it was fuzzy looking. It was the Matrix MSBLV. Uh, base coat. It says with MT95LB, uh, which I don't know what that means. And they gave me a slow slow drying reducer. 
Um, so I used it. Anyways, make a long story short, uh, when I noticed it rough textured, I mean it looked good, it was all covered, but it was low tech or high, it had a texture to it. Um, don't have a lot of experience with it, so I had a blue tack rig for base coat, clear coat, I tacked it. Well these little bumps grabbed the made like lint on it. So what I done, I took tape and got all the lint bubbles off. I didn't tack it no more after that. And then it was still rough, so I said, well, maybe that's normal, because I don't know. And it's like, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night, so I don't know anybody to, uh, that would know to call, so not around here. <coughs> and uh, so I hammered another coat on it. Thought I did. Cover it in. I put it on like I usually put base. Uh, it was 75% overlap. Uh, pretty good gun speed I thought and still rough texture so I just still didn't know so I put I waited another 30 minutes and I put the pearl on and it was still rough still didn't know whether that was right pearl looks great I'm going to show you the car in a minute car looks you know there's no modeling nothing looks great it's got the metallics are good in it. Uh, it's all good. So I'm thinking, declare. Maybe that'll bury it. So I got to the clear. And I did uh, spray pan or got my pattern going. Got my pressure. I think I was spraying at 35 pounds uh, with the fluid tip two and a half. Turns out, um, I tried two and a quarter, so I put that first layer of clear coat on. Some of it looked good, some of it didn't. So I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, so that was all right. So I gave that 20 minutes and I hit it again. Well, it wasn't flattening out. So, I stopped. Two coats, I stopped. Um, like I said, this is inexperienced talking here. This is why I got stressed, because I didn't know the material. I don't know the dry stage. I think I can do that now, because it's not that difficult, uh, that part of it. But, uh, I went to bed at 3.30, or quarter four, something like that, got a shower. Uh, smoked a lot of cigarettes, cause I was like bouncing off the walls. Uh, I back up at eight o'clock, called the owner, he come over. He's not mad, <laughs> believe it or not, he's not. He said, it's just a car. So, he knows a Painter, professional painter. Paint it. Well, I'm gonna guess a long time because I know the places where he paints. I just didn't know. Uh, I'm gonna say 20, 25 years. He's about 45, so I think he's done it all his life. <coughs> so he called him up, and he come over. Well, I was sitting there just wondering what what I did. So he come through the door, and he looked at the car. He said, "What product did you use?" I said, uh, Matrix. He said, got done too dry. He said, I had to keep it on really wet because it dries fast and will flare up like that. Anyways, guys, here goes. Uh, here's my train wreck. I'm going to show you the hood first because it's the worst. Uh, trying to get this on camera. Uh, I'm sure you probably can see it. I'm not sure, see if I can find a spot. 
There we go. That's what it looks like. Pretty much all over the car. Yeah, I got a got a good spot. The hood is the worst. Uh, along the edges, some of the edges, not the hood. Well, we're here in this corner. It's great, perfect. Here, perfect. See if I can follow that up there. See if I can get a shot of it. That laid down really nice. He said, it's because I kept it wet. Kept it real wet. Right there, real nice. On the tops of the doors, real nice. Uh, even right here, it's good. That's with two coats. He said that would buff out nice. Uh, here again on the flat surface, very rough texture. Um, here it's smooth, rough, smooth. The rock guard is smoother than the car. This is what's getting me. Right here, nice. Uh, the bumpers, good. So apparently I kept those wetter. Uh, right there, I wish you could feel that. See if I can. Right there, it, it's just, it is, it's like glass. Then you move up here, and it's rough again. Ah, I really hammered the clear right here out of frustration. Try to bury this roughness, and I got a sag. I think you can see that. Where'd it go? Right there, you can see it. I think it's a blade. Oh, that's a sag. Anyways, long hair, really good. These curves, sandy feeling. Flat parts, good. Uh, a little, little drip there, nothing major, but that's because I was overlap coming around the turn, and I don't know. Uh, this is really bad. I don't know if I can get this on here or not. That feels like sand. Now, along the edges, right around, the whole perimeter of this is smooth. Real smooth. Because I did the edges, and then I got it doubled up nice and wet. It made sense. That is perfect. Guess I got it good and wet. These are good. Almost fell off. Ooh. Uh, yeah, every one of these is good. Now, here's my other train wreck. I was spraying this and it blew it off my hook. I think I bumped it with my back because the curve is right there. Another problem, painting in a shop that's too, that's too small. These parts here, really good. Nice and smooth. Even this, really good. I just don't get it. I mean, I get it now. He told me. Uh, the bumpers are pretty good. Here's where I was testing my spray patterns. I hit my test panels again, trying to find that right place to put the paint, the base on. But like I said, I've never ever had any trouble with the base in this 
This is the first time, but that's exactly what the man said. He said, you got to keep it wet or it'll flare up. Something else he told me too. Uh, he said, when painting this paint, you got to paint the paper too because he showed me this on the other side. It comes off on your hands. You can see it there. Uh, he said when you come down the roof, it'll blow it down on the hood. And coming up the hood, it'll blow it up on the roof. Which makes sense to me. Uh, am I knocking the product? No. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm chalking this up to inexperience. Uh, like I told you, I, I, I haven't had enough experience yet to be doing this fancy stuff, this tri-stage and different materials. I need to stick to that one material and get that right. So, I asked him, I said, can this be saved? He said he's not sure. He said he'll have to wait until tomorrow. And he said, just try right here. He told me where to try. And this panel right here and wet sand it with 1200 stay away from the edges go up close to the edge but not the edge and to see if there's any color in these pumps uh, he said you might get away with wet sand in the whole car with 1200 grit and clearing it again he said if you break through you're gonna have to hit them spots but he also told me that when I go to do it, give him a call and he'd come over because he does have some experience with this paint, which is good. Uh, gonna fix it. It's part of the process of learning, I guess. Oh yeah, and I was talking to my other buddy, uh, Alan, and he called a friend of his, and he said the same thing. It goes on dry, you really gotta hammer the base to get it to lay down. Uh, I don't know, I just, and the other fellow that was here, he said some colors are different, white, is bad. I thought the paint was really thick when I was it's a two to one mix and it was thick um, and I'm, I'm not used to the paint that thick so uh, I should have stopped at the base I should have but I didn't know this is what I do I just keep going sometimes when I shouldn't be and Screw up. Anyways, that part fell on the floor. That don't bother me. I can sand that off. Redo that. It's small. That don't bother me a bit. This, this is bothering me. I'll, it will bother me until I get it fixed. But I will get it fixed. I'm going to bump up the heat in here. And the buddy there that paints said bump up the heat in here for a week. And next Friday, I'm going to try wet sanding it. Uh, if that's not, if I get color, she's going back down. We're going to do her again. Uh, like I said, the owner was in. He's not mad. He's just a car. Uh, he understands 100%. He knew this was my first time on tri stage. Um, but I know one thing, I like that Tacna gun, but I'm not buying it. I have a GTI, I have a good gun. Uh, it just needs me to figure out that sweet spot. Uh, a lot of people give me some suggestions I'm gonna try. Um, James Freddy's mentioned, bigger tip, higher pressure. Uh, Tommy Shu mentioned, more fluid, lower pressure. I'm gonna try them all until I get it. But, I'm having really good luck with my starting line, the Belbus. And you know, I think if I do buy another set of guns, it's gonna be those. 
because I have good luck with those. I've put base on, I've put primer on with it, I've put clear on with it, and they come out good. So I think I should stick to the basics until I learn more. So I know where I'm at uh, experience-wise. I don't have enough experience to get into this. I'm not trying to be negative either. Um, it's the only way you learn. It's the only way I'm going to learn. This is just part of it. So, um, I'm sorry I didn't do more videos, but I did. I'll be honest, I got into a panic. I didn't know what to do. I was running to the computer. I was giggling, Googling. Yeah, giggling, yeah. <laughs> I was Googling things. I'm still tired, guys. Bear with me here. I was, I was just, I had the matrix manual, manual out. I read half of that. I, I just, I was livid, to be honest with you. But, too late now, it's on there. Uh, actually, actually, the guy said another coat of clear wouldn't have hurt for when I sand it down, but I was looking at the point. You know, I've wasted enough material, why waste more clear? And just, I'm tired, that's it. Shut lights off, clean up guns, go home, clean. Just, just like that. And the sunglasses, it didn't work. Uh, it, actually, it helped, but once they got all spotted up, I yeah, couldn't see nothing again. I don't like white. Um, I do have one more white pair of paint, and that's my young fellas, and I just might pass him the guns out here. Go ahead. But if he wants to, um, I'll paint that for him. I, I no more white cars. That's it. I can't see. Uh, I think Tom had an experience with white. And from Tom Wonderful World, he said it drives you crazy. <laughs> oh, I believe him, man. Anyways, guys, this is where I'm at. The train has derailed. I'm still, I'm good spirits. I mean, once, once the owner come in and he he was good, and then when he brought that other guy over, and he was really good. Uh, he doesn't live very far from me. I didn't, eat, I didn't know him. Now I do, which is a good thing. Uh, it's close. Um, he volunteered, like he said, you know, if you ever want to talk or ask questions, just come over. It's so good to have somebody that close. So there's Don Allen on the phone, Digger, and he's really good to talk to. It's a lot of good suggestions, and there's just so much in this. And this i uh, just touching tip of the iceberg here. Anyways, that's it for the week. Um, I got my train wreck. This is the worst one yet. Here I always complain about orange peel. This is worse than orange peel, believe me. Wow. Hey, there's no slipping on this one. Anyways, I'm going to let you go here. My camera's getting very low on battery there, so uh, I'll put it up there and clean up, lick my wounds. In front. Tomorrow night I'm going to try that, make sure there's no, see if, not going to make sure, I'm going to try to see if there's any color in that. I got my sheet of 1200 out here already. You see that there? And he said to use a soft block. So I'm going to use that one that HPR sent me, the motor guard, soft on one side, a little harder on the other. <laughs> That's going to come in handy, buddy. Uh, anyways, I'm going to let you go here. I'll get try to get this up. Well, I guess no sense me telling you this. You'll see it ends up there. And uh, like I said, not looking for sympathy. It, it, it's inexperience. Um, not knowing a product, not knowing guns, and I tried two different guns last night. I tried that Tecma, and I tried, used my GTI. Both worked with the same, but it was, oh well. We'll get her, we'll get her fixed. Thanks for watching, guys, take care. I hope everybody else has better luck than this. I don't wish this on my, well, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Anyways, we'll get her fixed up and uh, give you an update next weekend.
So take her easy. We'll talk to you later. Have a good one.